Happy Saturday! Um, today is my post shelf Saturday, so this weekend is my free weekend, and um, on Monday I'm gonna be starting my medicine rotation. But today's my free day, so I wanted to bring you guys and vlog because I feel like I haven't vlogged in forever. So come along and let's enjoy our Saturday together. Well, here is my outfit for the day. I mean, pretty simple, just like a gray cropped ish t shirt. Um, these boyfriend jeans that my boyfriend calls mom jeans. I guess they're a little mommy. And then, um, this cardigan and just a brown tote. So I'm going out to brunch and coming back and trying to organize my, my life together for the next rotation. Hey, Candy. Mommy's filming. Go. Go. <laughs> Here. Okay. So I am back from brunch and I wanted to tell you guys a little bit about my surgery rotation. So like I said before, I took my shelf yesterday. So I'm finally done with... Uh, the surgery rotation and there's a scene in Lord of the Rings that kind of explains how I feel so let me show you guys. It's done. Yes, Mr. Frodo. It's over now. Just kidding. It actually wasn't that bad. Um, I actually really enjoyed my time in surgeries. I love spending time in the OR and I love scrubbing into all the different cases. Just to give you guys a breakdown of my surgery rotation. Okay. Um, I did two weeks of trauma surgery, um, two weeks of emergency general surgery. So that was a lot of like cholecystectomies and appendectomies and things like that. And then after that, I did two weeks of cardiothoracic. So I saw a lot of cabbage, a lot of open heart procedures. Um, and then last two weeks I spent doing pediatric surgery and that was cool because there are certain surgeries that you would never really do in an adult but you would do them in kids so I got to see some of those and that was a really cool experience. Um, it was very physically demanding. I On most days I got to the hospital by 4.45 or 5 and then I never really knew what time I was going to be dismissed so um, basically I couldn't really make any any plans outside of you know being in the hospital for the for the past eight weeks or so it, it felt really long at the time but I feel during when I was doing it it felt really long but now that it's over I feel like it did go by pretty fast so um, yeah like physically demanding but the cases are really cool the time in the OR goes by so fast it's usually the time you spend outside the OR in the hospital just waiting around that feels slow um, so I'm still not sure if I want to do surgery or not I think I'm pretty much down to either going into surgery or emergency medicine so I'm gonna put in some elective like surgery electives in my fourth year schedule so I can kind of re-experience it again in a different setting and hopefully that'll help me like solidify my plan for my future. Um, so that was my surgery rotation experience. So a lot of you guys have been asking about my work slash desk setup here. So I'm gonna show that to you guys right now. All right, so we'll start here. Here on the right side, I have my headphones, my iPad, and just like a little pouch with nothing in it right now. Um, this is my pencil case. Let me open it for you guys. Really hard to do one-handed. Okay, here we go. So I have a little post-it note here, a multi-pen, um, an ink pen, my my whiteout. Let's see, this ruler from Muji, and a nail file just in case. Um, and three of these multi-pens from my store, um, an eraser, and two highlighters from Muji. So that's the stuff in my pencil case. Um, here in the middle I have my laptop. This laptop stand is from Amazon. I think the 
uh, brand is called Rain Design M Stand is the name of the product. I'm going to link everything below. Um, and when I have the laptop on the stand, it's kind of hard to type like this. So I have a um, extra keyboard so I can use it here. Um, I usually also have like a, a mouse as well. Um, here's my stapler, my water bottle. A uh, pro tip, um, when I was doing my surgery rotation, you're always practicing your knots. So I um, have a piece of string on my water bottle because it like tends to be, when it's filled up with water, it's like sturdy enough that I can practice knot tying here. Here I have a notebook, some of the books that I was using for um, surgery, uh, my notebook here, um, some folder file with like paperwork, and another book that I use for surgery. Some pens here. This glass thing is actually from Target. I think it was in their dollar section around Valentine's Day. Um, I know they have candles in this cup thing. Um, and I used to use a candle so that I can use the, the jar. But they were selling these for like a dollar. So I picked up one of them so I can use it as a pencil case. Um, more Sharpies. And here are my... Um, Markers that I use to draw anatomy. Um, you can also find these from um, the strive to fit.com My to-do list is here and this is another planner that I'm kind of experimenting with. It's called a day designer It's a little big so I wouldn't really like bring it with me But it's like a nice like desk planner type of thing So this container actually the one I'm using to place all the markers and the to-do list is actually the container that this planner came in and I'm just using it as like a stationary holder type of thing. So this is what I have for my desk setup. So let me tell you guys a little bit about the desk that I'm using. It's actually a tabletop from Ikea. Um, I think it's called Linman. I'll put all the information down in the description box. But it's actually two tabletops together. Um, and I think each tabletop is like $45. So pretty affordable um, from Ikea. And you can mix and match the legs. So you can purchase the legs separately, which is what I did. Um, and I like having this large desk because in med school, especially the first two years of med school, you do a lot of group studying. And I wanted to just have enough space for everyone to sit around the, the, the table and study together. Um, so that's sort of my desk set up here and that's it let me know if you guys have any questions I'll try to put all the information down in the description box if you guys are interested in checking any of them out so speaking of study area um, if you guys don't know already I have a study with me channel where I do a lot of my studying here at this desk and sometimes candy will join in Candy will join in over there. So um, make sure you guys subscribe. You can find it in the feature channel on the sidebar of my main channel page. It's called the Strive Study. So tune in for uh, study sessions. If you guys are studying and you don't want to be alone, if you just want some company while you're studying, then that's a great place to go and we can all study together. So I hope you guys enjoyed the tour. Um, today I actually have a lot of free time so um, I'm gonna be doing all the things that I like doing so I'm gonna go to the gym and then I'm gonna go watch this movie it's called Get Out let me show you guys the trailer don't come back all bougie man come back get your damn pants up to your damn stomach <laughs> <laughs> I, I couldn't bear to let him go So it looks really scary and I'm usually not very good with scary movies, but it's it got 100% on Rotten Tomatoes So I think it's worth checking out. So I'm gonna do that when it's still light out. So I'm not too scared um, But anyways, I will see you guys in a little bit. So here is my gym outfit I kept the crop top, but I'm wearing black leggings from Lululemon. This is probably my favorite leggings. It's the I don't know what it's called anyway Go to the gym now. See you there. Hey guys, quickly checking in. Just finished a back workout, back and biceps, and now I'm headed to the movie theater. Hopefully it's not too scary. It's like starting to get dark, so I think it's going to be dark when I'm after the movie. <laughs> but... I will let you guys know what I think. Alright guys, we're here at the movies. If it gets too scary, I'm gonna 
leave Bay here and go home. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> So I'm back from the movie. The movie was actually really good. It wasn't as scary as I thought it would be. Um, but it was definitely a lot of suspense and actually pretty funny too. So um, I definitely recommend it. I'm not going to give anything away, but it was it was really good. Um, and before I sign off, I wanted to give you guys a quick update on the store. I made some changes um, in the past couple of weeks and I wanted to just update you guys. So change number one is that domestic shipping is a lot cheaper now. So um, for first class mail starts at $4 and uh, priority mail starts at $6.50 so a lot cheaper than before. Um, also I added a ton of different countries so I'll list all the countries here. Um, so definitely check to see if I'm shipping to your country and if I'm not you guys can make a request in the comment section and I will look into um, shipping to that country as well. Also for the countries that I was shipping to before like Canada, Australia, UK, um, shipping shipping for those countries have been lowered as well. So check to see what the new shipping rates are in your country. Another update is I know all the clothing on the website right now says sold out. Um, I'm definitely working on replenishing those so um, definitely keep an eye out. If you guys aren't following me on Snapchat or Instagram, it's the same handle, the Strive to Fit, and I'll be most likely posting um, most updated information there first. So um, definitely keep an eye out for that. So I am going to close the vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for spending my free day with me. Um, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.